Hi, I'm Kim Thomas, seasoned personal trainer with over 30 years experience, ready to give you a fantastic workout. Get ready. I am excited to give you your 15 minute workout on the pedal exerciser today. But before we get started, please hold that red button for two seconds. Make sure it's set on the timer. You'll see a little arrow on time and not scan on the bottom left. And we have our timer function on on the bottom right. The calories, distance, speed, we'll play with that another time. But for right now, let's just focus on time and distance, or should I say time and time. That's what we're focusing on, time and time. Leave the rest to me, I'm happy to work you out. So back is flat, knees are nice and uh, slightly bent. You got your feet and you are moving because movement is medicine, motion is lotion. So perhaps, uh, I don't know if you've just jumped to this 15 minute workout and you're like, hey, let's just, boop, I'm ready to get going. This, or maybe you've done the five and the 10 minute workouts and you're ready to move on to 15, that's great. Or maybe you're just mixing it all up. So as long as you're, you know what, the goal would be 20 to 30 minutes a day. 30 would be the best, but at a minimum 20 would be great. So with this workout, if you could do once in the morning, once in the evening, that would be spot on. And even if you only do it once, that's great too. The hardest part is making that decision to move. So I'm really proud of you for making that great decision. So I'm gonna be adding, this one's gonna be a little spicier in the fact I'm gonna be getting you off of the pedal a little bit. But before we do anything, I wanna wake up the upper body. So let's go ahead and open up your arms. Open up those arms and I want you to bring your arms across your body and then open. This is a nice chest expander. Bring your arms and I want you to alternate that arm on top. Wake up that upper body. Back is nice and flat and make sure you breathe in your nose, out your mouth. We have 15 more seconds. Let's keep moving. Perfect. Keep going. Five seconds, just waking up that upper body and recover. Perfect. Now, if you feel like the resistance might be too much, you always want to double check on the bottom. You have a little dial. There's a plus and a minus. So you turn it all the way to the left counterclockwise and that will be the easiest setting, which is what I have it set now, because we're gonna be getting a little spicier later on into that workout. So if you feel like this is too challenging right now, let's back off that setting just by turning that dial down on the bottom here, all the way to the left counterclockwise. <sighs> and on the other hand, if it feels too easy, go the other way and you could dial it up a couple. So this workout, you're doing what works for you. And the fact you're moving, I'm proud of you for that. Because <sighs> sitting is the new smoking. So here we go. We're gonna be adding another arm movement. As a matter of fact, this is gonna target the top of the arms here. So it's important. I don't wanna neglect any of these 600 muscles today. So we're gonna be working these arms and some of you might say, hey, I've got weights, that's more power to you. Just make sure you have them before we get started. Anywhere between three and five pounds is fine. But for those of you that are like me that don't have weights, you'll get just as much out. We're lifting our arms up. For 30 seconds, we're gonna do arm curls. I want you to open those hands. And those of you that might have dumbbells in your hand right now, make sure that you relax your grip. So many people tend to squeeze the dumbbell and not this muscle right here. <sighs> Biceps, nice strong arms. Keep moving, keep moving. Five more seconds and relax, perfect. Nice little stretch. I want to extend that left arm out in front of you. Those of you that might have carpal tunnel or maybe you're a golf or tennis player, Maybe you just like to stretch. Go ahead and pull that arm out straight, just a gentle stretch. Stretching should be slight discomfort, not pain. Now let's go ahead and take the other arm out. Notice on my hands, right in the middle of my hand, just a gentle pull, and you'll feel that stretch the muscle we just worked. Yep, perfect. Let's do some blinkers, blinkers. And you know those stretches, you could do those all day long, especially if you sit at a desk. And rest, good. Glad to see you doing that. Your body loves you for it. We're meant to move and you know you always feel better, not only physically, but mentally when you move. It's one of the best parts about exercise. It's the most transformative thing you can do for your brain. Did you know that? Your reaction time, your focus, your mood, instantly elevated. Good stuff. All right, so 30 seconds, we're gonna get moving. I'm gonna take you through our first little leg interval and let's pick up the pace. So what I want you doing, it's flexing your feet, bringing your toes up towards you with those pedal straps and just picking up the speed. So picking that up. If you feel like you're too winded, you're feeling lightheaded, something doesn't feel good, just back off that speed and you do what works for you. That's why we're here. We're not competing with your neighbor. You're not competing with what you did 10 years ago. We are in the now and this is the best moment ever. So let's keep moving and good, back off. 
So this interval training is really, really good. Kind of gets that heart rate going from here to here. And um, it's good to do that once in a while. You know, if you're, even if you're outside walking and you see, you're gonna say, hey, from that mailbox to that mailbox, I'm gonna pick up my pace a little bit. Well, same thing, same principle with the pedal exerciser. I'm gonna hit a certain point and say, hey, for 30 seconds, we're gonna pick up that pace, whether it's adding resistance, which we're gonna do in a little bit, or maybe adding the speed, which is fine too. They're both great. And that's given that heart, we're working it. And your heart is just like any other muscle. You can't flex it like your muscles, but that healthy heart's a happy heart. We want you living long and healthy and feeling good. And that's why we're, most of us are here. What's your why? Why did you show up today? Now, I didn't call you, I didn't text you. You made this great decision today. And I'm very, very proud of you for that. So we're over third or done with our workout. We're gonna go ahead and get some more arm movements in. What I'd like you to do is lift your arms above your head, put your hands together. You're gonna bring your arms back and then extend it up. You can put those hands together. Keep the elbows in and push it up. For 30 seconds, we're working the back of the arms. Sitting up nice, your back is flat. If some people like to grab one or two weights in your hand, some small weights, maybe two to five pounds in each hand, and that's fine too. Just make sure you have those all planned out before you sit on your peddler here. And rest, good. Shake out those arms. Feels good. Just shake, 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 shake. Whew. Yep, you know, and I, you'll hear me say this a lot because I'm very proud of you. You're actually moving, you're, you're doing something, and most people don't. Most people, it's so easy just to sit down and eat junk food and lots of sugar and watch TV all day long and think about, oh, I really should do this or I should do that, but you know what? You're actually doing it. And that's where I'm gonna say again and again and again, I'm very proud of you, you are a minority and all the benefits are really gonna come great. It might even start tonight with a good night's sleep. And sleep is critical. It's restorative, it's powerful. All right, so in 15 seconds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with this dial-up button on the bottom. So again, turning to the right is gonna make it harder. We're gonna take two little spins, just two spins in three, two, one. That's one and two, and pick up your pace. We've got a little resistance on here for 30 seconds. Keep going. Your pace is picked up. If the spins were too hard, then take it back, those two, or maybe do just one spin, whatever works for you. Keep going. Keep going, 15 seconds and we're gonna bring it back one. We're only gonna bring it back one, not back to two, just by one. Here we go, five more seconds. Three, two, one, good. Bring it to the left one time. Excellent, feel a little bit easier, good. So that was another little interval. Did you feel that heart rate come up a little bit? Are you sweating a little bit more? Whew. Good stuff. All right, now I'm gonna be getting you off this pedal exerciser to do what's an exercise called a squat. We're gonna go there in about 40 seconds. If you've never done a squat or you're not sure about your form, I want you to really watch my form. And the best way to describe it is pretend you're, you're sitting on a chair, which is actually what we're gonna do. You can use your hands for counterbalance. It's a very functional movement, which means we're, we use this movement all day long. We sit to stand and you know what? You're gonna be doing this until you're 110 years old. So let's plan on staying healthy and and squatting. And if your knees do hurt during this movement, I just want to show you how you can limit your range of motion. So for 30 seconds, we're going to squat. So we have about five seconds before we're going to stop the pedaler. In three, two, one. I'd like you to take your feet out. Put your feet facing forward. Stand up from your chair. I'd like you to sit your butt back, weight on the heels, and then stand all the way up. We're going to perform eight reps. Two, notice how my butt's tapping. You can just go partial if your knees hurt. That's three, you do what works for you. That's four, my, both my feet are facing forward. Five, you're doing a great job. Six, your body's loving you for this. I'm proud of you. Seven, keep going. And eight, have a seat. Let's put those feet in the pedal or exerciser again and start moving. Whew, notice I got the heart rate going a little bit. Whew, those squats, if you could do that, Work up to three sets of eight to 10 reps. Repetition is each time you do that movement. That'd be really great. All right, so we're gonna move our dial up by one to make it harder, which means you're gonna take it. I'd like you to go ahead and take it to the right. One dial up, turn one, 
and go ahead and start moving. One, there you go. 30 seconds hard. This is it, this is our final one before we get to 10 minutes. Keep going. Then we're gonna bring it back down easy, easy peasy. 15 seconds. Keep going. You're gonna get excited when you get to 10 minutes because then you're gonna realize, I've only got five more minutes, woohoo! So keep going. In three, two, one. Let's go ahead and make it easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. Go all the way, as easy as it'll go. Ah, Take it nice and easy. Good. All right, easiest. Let that heart rate recover a little bit. I don't know about you, but it's getting a little warm in here. This is good, it means we're moving. <sighs> Make sure you drink lots of water too. It's really important, the water. Um, I would probably say six to eight glasses a day. You know, a lot of people carry the bottled waters. It's, you're more likely to drink it, in my opinion, if you carry the bottled waters with you. So just get some of those uh, bottled waters and sip throughout the day. Bring it in your car or at your desk or at your chair wherever you are. And you know, a good indicator of water is, is your urine clear or pale yellow. So, and don't wait on thirst to drink water. So drink it all day long. It's a lot healthier than soda and a lot of fruit drinks and things like that. So your body needs the water and really appreciates it. So keep up that good work with uh, solid, eating those fruits and vegetables and drinking water. It's very important. You know, exercise is king. Nutrition is queen. Together, it makes a kingdom. Whew, yeah, I've got these fun little sayings. I've been in fitness a long time, but I not only say it, but I believe it, I feel it, and I have testimonies, guys, of how it's changed my life and lots of people around me just by you making this great decision to move, move, move. So keep up the good work. All right, hands by your side. I want your palms down. You're gonna lift your arms up. You're gonna lift your arms down. I want a slight bend in the elbow. For 30 seconds, we're working the side of your shoulders right through here. Again, if you feel pain, just you can either skip this exercise or you can even bend the arms a little more. This might be a little bit easier for you. Those of you that are a little more advanced, if you have anywhere between one and five pounds in your hands, more power to you, that's great. Just make sure you plan and have those weights near you before you download this app and put that smile on your face. And take your arm across. Actually, what I'd like you to do is pat yourself on the back because you did a good job and I'd like you to stretch. So you're just applying a little bit of gentle pressure on your shoulder right through here. No pain, just get it moving. And then switch and go to the other side. Pat yourself on the back, grab your elbow, just a nice stretch. Perfect. Love the stretching. Feels good, this is a good part. You're saying, Coach Kim, I like this part. Mm -hmm. Now, since you're doing such a good job stretching, let's go ahead and take one arm back. And I'm just getting a little bit of tension by giving an assist, like I have a little itch on my back, and I'm scratching it. So feel that stretch. This gets the back of the arm. And now we're gonna go the other side, just a gentle stretch. And again, you could do these stretches all day long. Good stuff. Whew. Very nice. All right, roll the shoulders a couple times. Excellent. All right, another interval. Let's get those feet. Don't worry about your dial up right now. I just want you to move these legs as fast as you can. Fast, 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 fast. Breathe, 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 breathe. Ah, think happy, happy, happy thoughts. Ah, thinking happy thoughts. You are speaking of happy. You know, you have cells all over your body and they're very happy right now. You have happy mitochondria, they're getting bigger. You know what that means in your cell? It means you're burning the fat right now. That's good stuff. <sighs> Keep going. In three, two, one. One, ah, nice easy pace, okay? Something, I'd say easy to moderate. Now good news everybody, you've got two minutes left. That's it, you're going woohoo, two minutes and I'm done with my 15 minute workout. Well, for right now, because I hope you do this again later. So again, two 15 minute workouts, three 10 minute workouts, maybe even five of the five minute workouts or six of the five minute workouts or just mix match it. You're welcome to do that. But Again, keep moving. I can't reiterate it enough by sleeping better at night, thinking better, feeling better, energized, less stress, less risk of chronic disease, and less doctor visits. And you know what? My family likes me better when I move because my mood is just elevated and I feel better. All right, everybody, we've only got one minute left. We're gonna make this one hard. I want you to take your dial up, two spins to the right, ready, go. One, 
and two, feel a little pressure and get going. This is your fastest one yet. Hold on, I know I'm holding on to my chair. Whew, I'm getting excited. I'm going fast, I'm breathing. 15 more seconds. Body's an engine, it's a machine. This machine needs to move. 10 more seconds. Keep going. I know you're thinking about your why. Some of you are thinking, when is this over? In three, two, one. Take it off a spin, guys. Take it to the easy mode. Easy peasy. Ah, 30 seconds. And then you will proudly say, I finished another great workout today. Good. 15 more seconds. I want it even slower. Watch that heart rate come down. And you know, your heart rate's going to come down. The more you do this type of training, the intervals, and the more consistent you are, the better you're going to feel, but that heart rate's going to get stronger. You'll walk up the flight of stairs and piece of cake. Or at least move from one side of the room to the other a lot easier. So thank you for joining me, everybody. You've completed your 15-minute workout.